how is it going today? We are in Oasis Springs today, and this is not a place that we have yet been on my channel. And that's because I have I have something a little bit special planned today, and I really hope that you enjoy it. I think probably from the thumbnail you can tell what it is. Um, but I have a little bit of a different video again today. It is going to be a hybrid video, so what will follow this introduction will be a little speed build, no talking, just speed build with music, and then after that we will be getting into furnishing, and that will be a chatty little furnishing together type situation. So uh, let's go ahead and we will get into the speed build part, and after that is complete, I will see you when everything is complete and ready to be furnished. I'll see you in a bit.
we are completed with the shell. I've also pulled out um, a lot of different things because I really wanted to get a feel of what I wanted for this particular motel. And I'm really excited because this is something that I didn't know I wanted to build, but it just kind of like came to me. So I hope you enjoy it as much as I am. I have added this gigantic sign on the top as you can see, this is from Live Edit. And I feel like it's cool because it's like one of those motel signs you'd be able to see from like the road. And I don't know, I just really like it. I like I like the retro. And that's uh, what we're trying to get across, which you will see very shortly <laughs> what we are doing and what is the feel and why do we have these types of colors? Yeah, so... What I have um, pulled out for this um, front area, I just have a few little fences that I wanna put in. And this is just so that I can have like some privacy, like if you're going in up the stairs and stuff like that, I kinda wanted to have some privacy for the occupants here. And then I've got this side here. And I like these. I didn't realize that we had these, but these are from the debug or live edit. I think it's probably live edit. Um, yeah, so that's what we've got going on here. And this motel has four, five, six rooms. So if you wanted to make this into like a little like apartment building, you definitely could, but you'd have to add in kitchenettes, things like that, some kind of thing where, because it's not full. I'm not having any kind of actual kitchen in these because they are just um, motel rooms. Now I have put in a little area over here, which is not a room. This is going to be our little kitchenette area that it's like a public area and it will have a bathroom as well. As you can see, I have chosen some wallpapers, so you're going to have a, a really good time guessing what kind of place this is going to be. <laughs> so I am going to show you, I have made one of the rooms and all of the rooms are going to be based off of this particular room. All of the rooms are set up much like you would have in any other motel or hotel where it's like the same room duplicated except for this one which is kind of like a corner room and I mean it just doesn't have like the big long window like these others do but it's the same size so it's just in a little corner here so you'll be able to see that but you can probably yep <laughs> This is the room <laughs> that I have already made, and this is our template for these rooms. And I want to make the loudest, most kitschy, amazing, 60s-inspired rooms ever! <laughs> I like it a lot. So this is the yellow room and we have a little bathroom here with this tile. It's not really yellow. It's more of a green on the floors and the walls, but it fits. It's fine. And I just really wanted to make this very loud. And then out here I have my sink. I don't know if you are... Uh, ever been to a place like this or like these older even in like newer even hotels a lot of them they will have um little sink areas that are outside of like the toilet slash shower room for some reason i guess it's maybe if you're sharing a room with somebody like a business person or someone that you're not like romantically or like intimately involved with and so maybe that's why uh, i'm gonna put a towel here but yeah, so that's, that is what's going on. <laughs> um, I am using this Home Chef Hustle cabinet. I think it really fits well, and I do believe we'll be able to use them for all of the rooms, I believe, because I think they come in the right colors. 
So what I'm going to do here is I'm really just going to copy and paste everything just in different colors. So the next room over that I want to do will be the pink room. And this room, it's like this exactly, except for it's like a mirror image. So it's like exactly opposite. So I'll have everything that this room has just in a different color and on an opposite angle or direction, if that makes any sense. So this will be pink. And I chose everything in this in these rooms with the understanding that uh, everything will be like has its own color. So even though this isn't going to be like super, super pink, um, it will match in with everything else. So this is the quote unquote pink swatch. It's more of a brown and pinky kind of swatch, but that's okay because just like in here, the curtains are orange and yellow. They're not necessarily all just going to be yellow every everything. So yeah, this is like the same with these chairs, you know, it's just going to be as close as we can get it <laughs> to what we will have. So let's go ahead and we'll put in this wallpaper. Oh, my eyes. <laughs> I'm questioning everything now. I need to pull this bed over, actually. And then I will make sure that these are the pink swatch. And I do think I want to keep the, if I can, just to keep that kitschiness, I think I would like to keep these patterned instead of just the regular pink swatch. Let's see the difference here. Yeah, I think I want to keep that pattern. I think that's cute. And then, okay, I was going around and around and I, f I just feel like that bed didn't really go in here. Now that I have everything all together, it was like better in my mind so it, i think that bed is too brown so i think what i will do i will just go ahead and choose a bed per the color of the room <laughs> i think this one fits well um but it just it, that style didn't go in here it just it's I don't know. It just doesn't go. And I'm sure you guys felt the same way. So I think what I would like to do instead is this um, high school years bed that matches in with these side tables. I feel like it goes more. I don't know. It just it, it is. Ooh, that's hurting my eyes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, how many times am I going to say that? But it really is. <laughs> It's a little painful. All right, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in again. This is from the Home Chef Hustle Pack. I'm just stealing from these, um, the other room. And then I'm going to use the pink sink instead of obviously the yellow sink here. And I think what I'll do is, is that we'll go through this room together and then I'll furnish the others and show you. And what we'll actually do is just go through and um, furnish everything else that I had picked out like for the other places so let's go ahead and we will get the shower and I think I might do a little bit like different light fixtures in here I only have these roundy ones just because um I don't know I, it just felt like you can see the best but I don't think they really go with what I'm looking for here you'll see what I mean in a minute <laughs> I, I don't want those. I don't want to use those. And the... Oh, okay. I need to do it like this. Okay. Sorry. I was getting very confused on how that went. I got it now. And then stealing a toilet paper roll holder. Turning this pink. And a very pink, almost purple wall. And there we go. Again, it's kind of like the yellow bathroom. It's more of a green and this is more of a purple, but that's fine. It works for what we're looking for. Turning you pink. And then we're going to go ahead and steal this sofa as well and turn it pink. And then I need to put that wallpaper and put this little detail. I really like these. Um, I think they came with the get uh, for rent pack. I almost said get rent pack. It's not, there's no getting of the rent. 
<laughs> okay, so I've got these. And I think I might do these in this swatch. I think that will work well or a little bit better. Let's see. Let's see the difference here. There's that one and that one. Maybe we'll do the light pink. I'm kind of liking that more. The dark pink, uh, it does go, but this is just as well. And then I've taken this light and I'm sizing it up with the bracket key and just kind of fitting this. Now you will have to have move objects on if you're um, placing this or using this lot, of course, like all my builds. And then we are changing it to pink. And it's a little bit darker pink. Ooh, wow. <laughs> yeah, 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 I like that better. I mean, like that, you know, that's strong words, but uh, <laughs> and then I have this little guy here, which is gonna go in this purple kind of magenta swatch and uh, this table. I just really like this. I feel like it's, <laughs> I hesitate to say cute because that's, you know, but I really am happy with how like kitschy this is, how, quirky and just it just i needed this i sometimes you just need a little bit of uh something different and this is it <laughs> this is it for me so <laughs> i'm doing these flowers in this um kind of pinky rosy tone as well and yeah i chose these because they have all the swatches that i'm wanting <laughs> So, yeah, this is a lot of color. I know, I know. And that's that's the point, though. So I really, I'm hoping that you guys like this. Now, I'm not sure that this is going to be the same in every single room because I don't know that this comes in the swatches. But actually, that's not so bad. Let's see if we can size that down with the bracket key. It doesn't really go, though. Let me Let me look, actually. Let me do this. What I'm doing is going by colors, pink, and then let's see if there's something better, which there probably is. And put like a whole bunch of freezer bunnies on there <laughs> or something like that. Let's get rid of that. And then maybe we'll do something like this. This is so out there and just like imagine sleeping in this room. You would not get a wink is so busy my goodness you know though i think there are people like i used to have a friend who really likes this kind of like really out there kitschy style and you know what that is so cool and if you're one of those people happy birthday <laughs> you're welcome and then i'm also using these um maximal maximalist mirrors in every one of the rooms as well and that I mean like minus like a towel rack or something I think that I, I missed in the other area but you see what we're going for here you know that's how this entire hotel is going to be so what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and furnish off screen the other rooms which are going to look identical just in different colors and probably with like a different bed but you shall see um, when we do a tour um, but before we do the tour and all that of the other rooms uh we're gonna go ahead and we will be finishing or working on the lobby area like where you sign in and pay and stuff and we'll be working on this food room <laughs> little kitchenette style situation so let me go ahead and finish those rooms and then we will get to working on that together and I will see you in a bit. Are you back? I can't tell because my eyes, my eyes have just been obliterated from all the color that I just used in the other rooms, but I will carry on. <laughs> so we're in the main lobby here and I'm going to be using some more outrageous colors all throughout. I have chosen, now I have never in my whole life used this. Never in my life have I ever used these um, or this particular pattern of, of carpet 
But today we are going to be doing that, and this is the Chevron. I guess it's supposed to look like candy corn. It's from the Halloween spooky pack thing, but I feel like it goes in here. And I'm going to be using this dorm wallpaper as well in here because I want a lot of oranges and yellows because I have picked out a very blue <laughs> front desk. So that's what we're going to be using today. Let me get this grid on. I wanted this to be as outrageous as possible. <laughs> and it's getting that way. It is getting that way indeed. Oh boy. So then I've got back here some of these counters. And then that guy to round off. So on here, I just have, obviously this is not a retail, actual retail. This is actually, I've coded this as a generic lot type because you can do with it what you want. And that way your Sims can stay here. You can woohoo here, have your affair, have a family vacation, whatever you like. Um, but yeah, you're going to be <laughs> going to definitely be um, just kind of playing whatever you want here. I have this mat that I've sized up slightly with the tool mod to go here just to help out with the scooting of the chair, which again, really nothing really can be used. I guess your sim could sit here if they really wanted to. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put these spooky chevrons into this little office area as well. And I'll steal this saucer light. Now, I went ahead and decorated this because this is really just incidental and we've got so much more to go here. But, you know, it's a little office area. The little details here. A lot of it from get to work. But, you know, it's just a little place where you can do bookkeeping and all that sort of thing. And then... I brought out this little cork board. I thought this would be nice. Local businesses might want to kind of advertise here. There may be some like whatever services people have while they're sort of like on vacation or staying at a motel. Very nice. And then I have pulled out from Strangerville, I believe. I love this. I hardly ever get to use this, um, but this has so many nice swatches for like uh, commercial lots. And I just feel like this particular swatch fits with this because it's like desert-esque. And this might be a place where someone is staying kind of on their way to some like desert camping. So yeah, and that might be something fun to do is make like a little like desert Oasis Springs campground somewhere. You know where like Johnny Zest has his trailer? Maybe we'll make that someday into a little campground or something with some little rental lots or something like that i don't know how it works but <laughs> we shall see i'm putting these up it looks kind of like some kind of accreditation situation i don't know and then this file thing you know because business <laughs> and then <laughs> um i have some little uglies to put in they're pretty but they're kind of ugly because they kind of all are very loud gotta turn the volume down on the colors but that's kind of the point of this whole build and putting this little waiting area couch there and this the ugliest of ugly <laughs> curtain rods which i'm going to be doing times two here since we have two different windows just making that fit a bit more putting that up I mean, if you couldn't tell, I just definitely want this place to look like it's from another era, a holdover, but it's just like a fun place that people still come to kind of get in on that kitschy vibe. You know, there are places like that that still exist. And I don't know, I just feel like it's nice having it in this desert <laughs> kind of setting here. And I'm putting this because I want there to be like, you don't just walk in and it's gross onto the rug. I mean, it would be, it would be if it's like raining and stuff and gross outside, but you know, it is also the desert. So maybe there's like sand and stuff on your feet and that will fall into that mat. 
and I am putting in this fire hydrant little capsule thing. I don't know what it's called, storage? I don't know. It looks like something that you would need to have. It would be up to code to have this here <laughs> for your business if you're running some kind of a business. And then I'm just putting in a little toilet and that's just going to be... And I'm doing this in black because the toilet and stuff because I wanted to do something kind of loud in here as well. And I want to put another little window in just at the top to let in some light. I have a window here and I'll have one in this other bathroom as well, which we haven't looked at yet. But it will be very nice to have a little bit of light in here but no one can really see in there unless they really want to i guess if you got a ladder or something like that and you were weird you know but it's nice i always think it's nice to have windows in bathrooms and i think i want to bring some of that like turquoise-ish blue um, into the bathroom as well through the tiling just getting it all up in there <laughs> Okay, so I need a mirror. And I'm thinking maybe just this one in the black here. I don't know. It's just plain. It's whatever. But I mean, it's a bathroom. It's a free bathroom. Maybe if you're checking in or something like that, you will have that ability to use. You know, beggars can't be choosers. And you kind of know what you're getting into when you walk into this lobby. So... <laughs> You will see the rest of the rooms at some point and you will know, you will know what is going on. Just going to use this in the black for this plant. I have another rubber, rubber tree plant also in the lobby, but you know what? We're doing it. We're doing it. So that is the lobby all done. And yeah, I mean, it's loud. <laughs> It's very loud, but I'm kind of here for it. It kind of sets the mood for the rest of the rooms and the outside. So let's go ahead and we will go to next door and we will finish the bathroom and the little snack room as well. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put down some wallpaper in this bathroom. This bathroom is going to be some more pink and blue tiles in here. I have pulled out this pink stall. I believe it is from university and it should be working in here. There we go. Just going to have one stall. I've got this sink and I believe this is from university. Oh, it's from Parenthood. Okay, yes. I think this is also from Parenthood. I could be wrong, but this mirror, and yeah, it's a little bit worn out, but that's fine. I really don't mind that much. Yeah, this must be Parent, yep, it's Parenthood as well. And I am bringing in this little changing station. It fits with everything. And again, if you've got little ones that you're traveling with, that's going to be really helpful. <laughs> really and truly, you're always going to need stuff like that. So I'm also going to be putting in some paper towels, just in the silver swatch. And a little, it's not real, of course, but it looks... Like you might be able to use this little <laughs> soap dispenser. I think it's supposed to be, like I said before, hand sanitizer, but it looks like a little old fashioned hand soap dispenser from like the 80s, 90s, 2000s to me. And maybe some places still have something like this. I know they have like the automatic ones most of the time now where you kind of just slide your hand under and it like dispenses the foam for you. But these are the ones you had to like pump, the pump action. And I think I will put a little bit of a trash can under here just to give it some realism where you would put like dirty diapers or, you know, your paper towels after you use them. I don't think Sims are going to be actually using that at all, but it is nice for the realism. And then I actually might put like a little bench or something. I think it would be nice if you're kind of waiting to use the restroom or something. Like maybe it's more accessible to people to have somewhere you can kind of sit down while you wait and uh, you don't have to be standing the entire time. Not everyone can stand for that long. Just going to maybe use this bench and change 
the color. I think that is nice. And I will play test this as always to make sure that it is usable, but I'm pretty sure they can get in there. And if not, let me see here. Yeah, I think that should be fine there. But if it's not, I will take it out before I put it onto the gallery. So yep, that is our cute little retro <laughs> looking, very colorful bathroom, public bathroom. And onto the kitchenette. So for this, I have pulled out these are from this kitchen is well mostly <laughs> from the island living pack i've put a coffee maker in a pink color i do have a little microwave i just want to make it so that the sims can use this for just a little bit of an incidental like meal or two i have not put any kind of mini fridge on this lot you can always do that if you want to i just didn't want there to be so much of a mess and yeah you, i'm sure that you could make or you could take food from a restaurant or something like that or go to a restaurant or something that you can make in this world but i have decided to just have some vending machines on this lot instead and yeah so i've put these table and chairs this i believe is from this table is from the bowling stuff pack and this is from the high school years this chair i like the colors together I'm using this floor, which is the base game, I believe, linoleum floor, in that like kind of bluey and white checkerboard. And I'm using just for the kitchenette area, this pink and white tile all along there. And then I have pulled out these base game cabinets in white. I wanted there to be some kind of semblance of like, oh, you know, you could have some kind of cups or I don't know, like little things. I wish they had like a portable stove, you know, like a camping stove to like put on tabletops, but they only have something that's built in like that, which I, I appreciate the built-in tabletop stove, but I want something that's kind of portable. So I don't know, maybe in the future, but for the rest of the walls, <laughs> we have this lovely, lovely pattern that I just adore. <laughs> I have never used this, but I love, I love using things I haven't used yet. It's fun. Oh uh, yeah. I just like the color pattern. And also I like the idea that when you come to a place like this, there was like a certain era where like the 90s and like 80s where if if there was like sand at all then it means sailboats like there's no ocean around here it's just desert like there's like a waterfall i think over there but you know we're not really like in a sailing place but yeah i guess you could sail like on a lake i don't know but it's not ocean so i don't know <laughs> but we're doing that we're having that with the pink trash can here and yeah i think that's pretty much it i might want to put like a little television i think that would be kind of fun to like have a wall mounted small television oh i just realized that this plant is cutting in too let me fix that if this plant can't go no it's fine okay there we go i was gonna say if it can't go there we'll leave it out but let's put that here maybe yeah right there above the trash can but i mean everyone can see it from there so i think that's good you know it's cute we're doing things and then we'll go ahead to the pool area so out here i just have a few things that i wanted to put i don't want to put anything too major it's not a huge area but it will be a place that i think I don't know. It'd be kind of fun for Sims to come here and kind of relax by this weird kitschy pool. So <laughs> that's what I've got. I have a few of these pink chairs and I'm going to put them sort of just on these corners. And what I would like to do is actually get some of those like umbrellas um, that you can put in between. So I'm going to see if I can pull some of those out in just a minute after I place these down. Yeah, like some of these. Now I have move objects on, so this should not make 
any difference where I'm placing these, but I just want to give some shade. We are in, I had to take a break because again, it's warm today. So our neighbors with the motorcycles are out. So <laughs> we are like always listening to that. It's kind of like, I don't know why they can't just like go a place and stay. It's like they have to go back and forth home, like, <laughs> like all day up and down the street. Like they're, oh, I forgot something. Oh, I forgot something. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> all right. On to the next. Okay. I think that's the good for the pool area. I might put some kind of lighting out here, but for now, this is what it's going to look like at night. I mean, I don't know why you'd be really out here at night anyway, but I might put some like floor lighting in in just a bit. Uh, but I also have this little picnic area that I wanted to put out here and I'm just going to put some tables and a couple of barbecues nothing too fancy originally I was thinking I wanted to put some kind of a playground for kids but if you look in this world just right across the street there's actually a little playground already and a little park area so I was just like you know what I'm just going to use this as a little you can go out here to cook and grill if you want to sort of area. I think I'll only do maybe like three of these table and chairs just to kind of, I don't want it to be too cramped. And that way we'll have some room for everything. Maybe like in this formation here. And then I've pulled out some barbecue grills. And then I just, I just think it's, you know, this kind of nice to have something like this if you are traveling or staying at a motel and you don't want to spend a bunch of money on fast food. This is just a nice option to have. I have never, well, I don't know. Is the Red Roof Inn considered a, a motel? I don't know. Otherwise, I've never stayed at a motel and especially not a retro one like this. But I think it would be cute and fun. So I also have this guy, which I just have as a little pool floaty. Thought that would be fun and cute. All right, so we have come to the tour mode of this video and it is completed and you will see now finally all of the array of rainbow colors that we have in these rooms so let's start off with the outside because that is the most fun i think well i mean it's all it's all a lot of fun uh, but you have your little picnic area and let me show you what this is like at night as well everything is lit up really well i put some lights here out on the landscaping as well as these are just the lights from um the outdoor retreat pack i believe <laughs> the camping one one of our very first packs that we had it's been so long i can't even remember what it's called but i did go ahead and i put in the floor lighting i put in lights all around the perimeter of the building so that everything is well lit and safe for everyone yep so that's what it's looking like at night and then we're back in the daytime here we're just going to go ahead and go straight into the rooms so we're just going to go quickly on these because, um, yeah, I mean, they all pretty much look like just different colors. So the first room that I have down here is the green room. So, yeah, <laughs> it's very green. Everything you could ever want, but in a lovely toothpaste mint flavor. <laughs> The bathroom, also very minty as you can see. So yeah, that is the first one. And then heading right into the next door, we have the red room. Now this one, it's not pastel like the others. I'm, I also chose to do black with as an accent color because a lot of the um, colors that we have in this game the accent is like brown or black on the red which that's not bothering me I think that's pretty much how things would have been um, in the era that this may have been built but we have a black and red bathroom as well and from here we're going to go straight upstairs 
And that you've already seen the yellow room, but let's go ahead and revisit. Very nice. Whoop, you got a little preview of the pink room. <laughs> And the yellow bathroom. Yeah, I think when I was first making this room, I was like, how is this all going to work with like every color? But I think it came along. I, I think it's nice. Again, I don't know if everybody would be like wanting to go and stay in this, these rooms, but the people who would, I think would absolutely adore staying here. This is the pink room. This is the one that we put together on screen into the bathroom. And yes, that toilet is pink. It just doesn't look like it because everything else is so <laughs> pink around it. With the pink vanity. One last look at the pink room before we leave. And then we're going to go down the hall to the blue room. Now, the blue room is the smallest room, so I guess you won't be paying nearly as much. And in my opinion, it's a lot more tranquil because it's blue. <laughs> But it's still kind of an eyesore. So, I mean, like I said, I have different beds mainly um, just in a couple of the rooms because they didn't come in certain swatches. And when I say blue, I mean, there's also other shades of like purples and turquoise and stuff. And I think that's just how this these rooms are anyway into these this very blue bathroom, blue vanity. And every single one of the sinks has the corresponding colored little hand towel and flowers. <laughs> flowers and fruits. There you go. And the last room that we're going to be looking at. Can you guess? Can you guess? Purple. Purple room. So yeah, that's what we're dealing with here. Very, very purple. And for my purple lovers, I'm sure that you're very pleased with this. And the purple bathroom. Purple bathroom actually matches the pink bathroom because there weren't any purple swatches <laughs> for that were different. So uh, yeah, you're gonna have to stretch your imagination on that one. And for the vanity on this, uh, there's just like this grayish purple. So I just did whitish, purplish, grayish. So, you know, that's a little bit different, but it does match the closet and the door on that. So that is our final room that we haven't seen yet. And so let's, uh, oh, and then uh, around this corner, I have a little vending machine just so you can get your hot soups and pizza and whatever else, I guess, that they have down in there. We're going to zoom on down to the main lobby where you can check in and check out make complaints about how you have a headache. <laughs> oh, these colors. So yeah, that is what we've got here. And we're gonna go ahead and go into the office, which is more of the same kind of colors, but not just not as in your face with the rest of, I mean, it's like normal office, kind of old office furniture. So that's fine. And then we have a bathroom, which put on your sunglasses. Yep, garish colors, very nice. <laughs> Backing on out of there. And I haven't shown you guys this, but there is a back area through this door. And I put this truck out here. I wanna make it like maybe the person who runs this or who's like there, this is their truck so that they park there so they don't have to park in the customer parking there's also a dumpster for woohooing and a normal trash can as well we'll go down this hallway here oh actually let me show you there is another vending machine just around this corner and that one is like a drinks and chips and whatever like a cold vending machine and this is the little like guest bistro i don't know what else you would call it <laughs> but i i would imagine that this is a place that you could like you you could only go here if you are staying here maybe there's like a little access card to get in here or something like that that you would need that you would get from the front desk when you check in and there is the other side yep getting a headache as well and then <laughs> going right into the bathroom and we have a very colorful, like vintage Taco Bell colors um, bathroom, including a little changing station, which will work. 
So that is, that is this motel. And you know, I think it all came together. I wasn't sure like what we were doing. <laughs> all I wanted to do is make something kitschy and fun and a hotel. And I feel like that this hits the mark for sure. Let me know what you think. Are you liking this? Is this something that you didn't expect from me? Or were you like, of course, of course she made this. This is a much longer video. So if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Make good choices and I will see you next time. Bye.